Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast in Barbados. Now, this is a really special and unique talk show. We'll be featuring products available across Barbados, and we'll be having some fabulous food cooked by some of our fabulous chefs across Barbados. We'll be having guests. We'll be talking human interest stories. And this morning, I want to introduce you to one of this island's top chefs. It's Chef Nikita. Good morning, <laughs> Chef. Good morning. Thanks for having me. How are you? I am wonderful. Let's talk about you and your journey as a chef. Yeah. When did you become interested in cooking? Uh, my journey started when I was, I'm going to say, in full form. So is that like 15 years old? Mm. Yes, from a very young age, I did the, um, I was in the junior chef competition. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win the competition. Well, in my mind, I won. <laughs> but yeah, I became second that year. And then from then, it was just, Straight culinary. I went to uh, Pomerine, I guess I was at like, 16. Mm -hmm. And I did an associate really? degree there. And then I was in Canada for three years where I worked at the Marriott. And I also did some courses there as well. So I'm okay. Like, I'm going to go back and give you a chance <laughs> to big up your secondary school. This is a one off opportunity. Where did you go to school? The Allen School. Oh, uh, just short down the road. Just down the road. Because yes. we're here at Santosha in East Coast in St. Andrew. So that's where we the are, Allen the beautiful school, Santosha. Yes. So you're just a stone throw from 100 your school. 100% Alenian. Fantastic. Yes, if you had a particular type of cooking that you like to do, mm -hmm. what would you say? I like, honestly, I like local but creative local. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Like, I like to use local products, but do something um, gastronomy with it, something culinary, something to heart. So I would take something like, a, I don't know, a yam and do something, probably make some quenelles. I don't know if you know what quenelles, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, when like, you kind of like, like yeah. mash it down and then you and take you, the little spoon and it. You know, like you, yes, you know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. So mm -hmm. you do nice things with the local products because we all have very good local products. Um, and to me, honestly, we don't use them enough. They're not pushed enough. So with the opportunity that I get to do that, I do that. Okay. Yes. Well, let's talk about where you are now. Because yes. you spent three years in Canada. Yes. Be, were you perfecting your craft in yes. Canada? Yes, yes, please. Okay. So what do you do now here at home? Currently, I am a sous chef at the Bougainville uh, Beach Resort. I am stationed at, uh, we have a restaurant called Water's Edge, but that's the way I run. I run, sorry. So, yeah, that's my little pet team now. But I stem from the villas as well. I had a good couple of years um, in the villas, very great years in the villas, I must say that. Um, I met some amazing friends, some people that I still keep in touch with. I will travel and go to their homes and stuff like that. So, very great environment. But I'm back into the industry now, well, full blown hotel industry. Okay. It's different, but it's, it's what I love, so it comes easy to me. Now, Nikita, Chef Nikita, you're talking about years. You look so young. Oh my goodness, you look so young. How much years could you possibly have in this industry? I am, you want to know how old I am in my mind? Or you in your know? mind, yeah, In my mind, mind, I am probably about 47. I got that old time mind, like, you know what I mean? But I'm actually 23. <laughs> 23, yes. I have breakfast in Barbados. I just want <laughs> you to know that I am 43. So, for her to have an old time mind that says I, 47. Right. Mm. I'm not the average 23 though. Don't no, like seriously, okay. I am I wanna say unlock. That sounds weird. But I am, yeah. I'm not the average 23. Well you talked about using local products. Yeah. If you had to choose like one particular thing that's readily or usually readily available in Barbados, what product would that be or produce? Well, for me it's not necessarily produce because we have a you know, that that fluctuates, but it is is a meat to me like lamb, the local lamb. It's amazing. That's my that's my favorite thing to work with locally, uh, because when you talk about fruits and veg, you know you really can't control the taste that comes off of the tree. You're going to do so much or whatever or comes off of the ground, but you have no control of the quality of product. Well, some people might disagree with me. Well, that much control, but the lamb is beautiful. Wonderful, all yes. one hundred percent vegan, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you're here on Breakfast in Barbados, and we're going to see you in action Hi. in your environment, just doing your thing. <laughs> Tell me about the first um, couple of dishes that you're going to be doing first. Well, what morning. I do today is I am utilizing um, the MIS products, um, some spices. Well, they're well known for their spices, but they also, honestly, surprisingly to me, they have other stuff like they have like linseed and barley. Mm -hmm. You know, I honestly was not aware of that. So your um, old soul got unlocked so when I you am, talked about yeah, linseed and so barley. So I want to shy right. away from the spices because that's my comfort zone. And mm -hmm. I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to do a pineapple and ginger oatmeal. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to use the, the grown ginger provided by them. They also mm -hmm. have essence as well. So I'm going to use the pineapple essence from them to, make the, to give that pineapple flavor. And they also have a barley and oak. Like I said, they have a barley and oak ground, and then they have barley separate. And yeah, so I'm going to use those. And I'm also going to do a rosemary pan seared um, chicken patty. That is a new meatless, um, fresh select product that they have on the market. Um, meatless meatless it's vegetarian okay. but it's not vegan okay um so i'm going to do that and i'm going to poach some i'm going to poach an egg so i'm going to have like a meat patty and i'm going to have a poached egg then i'm going to have some a nice mis seasoned medley of vegetables and i'm going to put that on there and i'm going to top it off with some <laughs> fresh bean chili also from our meat you're making sponsors. me hungry yes oh and some basil too some basil is on mm. there okay so i'm putting it on the spot one of the few things I don't know how to do is to poach an egg. Really? So I need to learn how to poach an egg because yes. it's never come out right. So, yes. Chef Nikita, are you going to teach me? I'm going to teach you how to poach your egg. Okay. I'm not, not going to use a poaching pan. Like, I'm not cheating. Like, I'm going to poach an egg in a normal saucepan. Normal sauce saucepan. And mine, you promised me that at some point, mine won't fall apart. Yours? No. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> well, if I, if I teach you right, it shouldn't. Or if okay. you learn. I think, I, I think I'll teach you. You just have to learn. Okay, <laughs> go on, let's throw down. We'll be back on Breakfast in Barbados. Breakfast in Barbados. Over the years, MIS has been known for its high quality food and flavoring products. And now we bring you MIS Essences. Essences. We Essences. offer a wide variety of exciting and unique flavors like almond, cinnamon, strawberry, banana, pineapple, coconut, lemon, vanilla, and mixed essence. Now you will have all the essence you need when baking your cake, preparing your desserts, or mixing a refreshing cocktail. Available island-wide at all leading supermarkets, make it special with MIS Essences today. 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 Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados. And this morning, we're talking to two special young ladies from MIS Products. So, introduce yourself, ladies. My name is Casey. Hi, Casey. And my name is Sasha. Okay, so we've got Sasha and Casey from MIS Products. And they have a range of products this morning. And I'm familiar with MIS, but some of the products you have, I didn't even know that you had. So we definitely have to touch on some of the unusual things that, that you have going on this morning. So, Casey, tell me a little bit about the history of MIS products and where it all started. Well, MIS products started with my grandfather. And originally, they only sold black pepper, white pepper, coffee, and chocolate and they would grind it in like you know one of the old time motors oh. yeah and when my granddad passed away my grandmother picked it up and she passed it on to my dad my dad was able to build it and now we have a wide range of products over a hundred of them wow so that's really unusual you start from coffee chocolate, chocolate yeah. black pepper white, white pepper yeah. to where you are today with over a hundred products yeah that's pretty incredible. Thank you. That's pretty incredible. So let me ask you about your role because it sounds like you have a family of entrepreneurs. What's your role within MIS products? My role, my current role within MIS is manager. I basically dabbled in almost every single part of the company. I've done stock clerk, I've done marketing, I've done business admin. So I'm well versed <laughs> in it. Okay, so you basically grew up yes. around these spices. Yes. And what did you think about it when you were little? that was actually happening? What does it mean to you? Ooh, when I was the hill. Um, I guess I didn't really think about it. Like, you know, only until I got into my teen years, then I really began to think about my future, like, you know, where I wanted to take the company. Mm -hmm. um, because I would get a lot of questions from people that, like, you know, what, what do you want to do when you get older? And then I, I, before I would say I wanted to be an actress, but <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> but, um, the more invested I got in the company, the more I realized that 
I can make this bigger, I can take it regional, I can take it international. I can have various companies around the world and that's wow. my goal, my ultimate big goal. Big dreams. Yes, I was just going to give you a part. You say I came up with a line in my head for your actress like, to spice or not to spice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> MIS makes it nice. This is what you should do. You, yeah. say you should bring out the actress side of you. I should. <laughs> so taking the company regional first. Regional. And global. And global. Okay. So what about your day-to-day -day tasks at MIS? My day-to-day -day tasks involve um, I do marketing practically almost every day. I'm also involved in the production aspect of the company. Mm -hmm. And I, before I was into the business admin, like, you know, okay. receiving phone calls, stock logistics, like transporting stock from one part of the island to the next part. So, yeah. Well, let's talk about the location because it's a very unique location that mm -hmm. you have. And let me just tell you, not just for TV. I actually use MIS products. One of my favorites is the coconut essence. I made some coconut cupcakes yesterday. Fabulous. So let's talk about your location because it, it's so unassuming. It is. We are currently located in the Pine St. Michaels, mm -hmm. but we're now moving to Tweedside Road. Okay. Yeah. Bigger and better. Yes. You're seeing the vision. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So are your parents comfortable letting it go in your hands or not yet? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be watching you. My mom is ready. Okay. <laughs> My dad, he's slowly getting there. Okay. Slowly. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about your vision for the, the company, MIS Products, as you take it into with the new generation. Mm -hmm. So let's talk to Sasha. Sasha, what is your role <laughs> at MIS Products? I am currently the stock clerk at MIS, but like Casey, I am somewhat of a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. So I do a little bit of office administration. I also work with production and distribution, mm -hmm. but I mainly deal with the stock. Okay, so tell clerk. us what a stock clerk does. Well, my role as stock clerk, I normally keep figures. So I am the go-to person when you want to know how much of a product we have at a specific location. And so that's basically a compile report and like, you know, what we have, what mm -hmm. we don't have. And when stuff comes up, I am responsible for taking it out of stock rooms or when we receive imports, putting it into stock rooms and just basically keeping stock records. So that tells me, if you were going to say what's in and what's out, and you should know mm -hmm. the most popular products because they should probably be the ones that run out the fastest. So what would you say are your top three products? Well, let me correct you. The more <laughs> popular ones are actually the ones that we make sure we don't. That you don't? <laughs> yeah, mm, exactly. Okay, okay, I got you. But I, got I you. would definitely say it is our soy, which would be the soy protein granules and chunks, and the cereals are barley, sago, cassava, linseed, mm -hmm. and coconut milk. And then in terms of our essence, the coconut essence, mixed see? essence, mm -hmm. you see? vanilla essence. <laughs> Okay. So those are those are the products that I would say off the top of my head are very fast movers. But we have other products that go really quick as mm -hmm. well, like the garlic and the paprika, the curry, chicken seasoning. Chicken seasoning. Yeah. You could definitely yeah. see those going very quickly because that's, yeah. Yeah. that's those are like staples in in yeah. every Bajan's cupboards. Yeah. Seriously, really are staples for me. Paprika, you can put it in the food, sprinkle it on it. It looks really good. Yeah. So I love it. Let's talk about some of the unusual products. I mean, I'm looking here. I had no idea that y'all did sesame seeds. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that you did poppy seeds. And there's some other unusual ones. So tell me about some of those products that you do. Well, the one that definitely sticks out for me would be the xanthan gum. I have never used xanthan gum. gum. Yes, yeah, yeah. xanthan gum. Okay. I have never used it. I am afraid to even try it <laughs> because before going to MIS, I had never even heard of xanthan gum. Believe it or not. Okay. But I was asked the day for this particular product, and then the lady asked me on the phone if we had this product. The first thing that came to my head was, "No, we don't sell that," because I had never heard of it okay. before. But then I said, well, you know what, let me, I said, well, can I take my home for a minute? Let me find out from someone else if mm -hmm. we have this product, because I had just gone there. And I was told, well, yes, this is something that we sell, and we sell it in one pound, and we have this amount of it. And I was so surprised, because I had never heard of this product before. So what is xanthan gum used for? What's it, what's it used for? It's mainly used for um, 
jams, jellies. So if you sell those kind of products, if you're into making those kind of products, then you would know about it. But the average household so like isn't going to preserve it. Yeah, or? to preserve oh. it, keep it together. Okay, yeah. that's very interesting. Any more unusual products you have? Um, we have blue poppy seeds. Mm -hmm. We have mixed peppercorn. Wow. And white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds. We sell star anise, ground and whole. And we have the gluten-free products, buckwheat flour, ground millet, soy flour, rice flour, chickpea flour, split pea flour. Wow. Yeah. We sell What a lot. captured my attention just now is the fact that you have gluten-free products. There's a whole, well, there's a big demand now for gluten-free products with, I think it's celiac disease. A lot of people yeah, see, discovering yeah. that they can't deal with gluten. So all of these products that you've named, mm -hmm. they can be used for people who have. Yeah. Yes, Fantastic. And not only people that have celiac disease, you can use the gluten-free products if you are trying to go after a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So things like the soy flour, I find people would use the soy flour because it has low saturated fat and it doesn't have that much cholesterol in it. Mm -hmm. So persons who prefer that art for people like me I actually don't like rice so for some person okay. that doesn't like rice you could use the buckwheat flour or you can use the millet both the whole the whole, whole, one, whole millet whole and the whole buckwheat butt and cook it just like They're rice you nice. can cook it just like rice yeah okay that's really good because we're hearing all the, the the rage about quinoa but now you you have products that are readily available buckwheat and which was the other one? Millet. 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 Oh, that's really good. So are people surprised that you actually, because I didn't know that you did these gluten-free products. I thought, you know, I was fussy with my spices and my, my essences and stuff like that, but yeah. it's really been an eye-opener for me today to see that you have these kinds of products available. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't seem to know about the unusual ones, like mm -hmm. the blue poppy seeds, like more the restaurants and hotels would mm -hmm. order them. But we're like really pushing the gluten-free, we're pushing the unusual ones now to get them out. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We'll be right back with Casey and Sasha right after this. Breakfast in Barbados. For all health conscious people and for those who want to start eating healthy, Meat Less Select is here. Meat Less Select is affordable, great tasting vegetarian food available in five bean chili, vegetarian taco filling, fishless tuna, chicken sliders, and chicken patty. Meatless Select is high in protein and low in fat and has zero cholesterol. More affordable than refrigerated and frozen vegetarian options? Try Meatless Select today. The affordably priced, meatless alternative in the convenience of cans. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados here at Santosha East Coast in St. Andrew. And we're continuing our conversation with Sasha and Casey from MIS Products Tops in Quality. Let's talk about the essences that you have. We have nine flavors mm -hmm. of essence. They are almond, banana, cinnamon, coconut, lemon, mix, pineapple, vanilla, and strawberry. You did that very well. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your mind taking over. What do we have? What do we have? And actually, I didn't know you had the strawberry and the pineapple. Mm -hmm. And Chef Nikita is actually going to be using pineapple today, so it's going to be interesting yeah. to see what she does with that. Out of the unusual flavors of essences, so I would say that would be strawberry, banana, pineapple, and there was another one that was pretty cinnamon. 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 Do they go quickly? I would say around Christmas time when mm -hmm. people are into the baking, mm -hmm. then they start to move like as, real, as fast as the coconut or the vanilla or the mix. Fantastic. All right. Now, you talk about MIS products, you work with MIS products, you manage, you're a stock clerk. Do you actually cook with your products? It says tops in quality. <laughs> so tell me what you would prepare. What are your favorite spices that you use? Well, in terms of the spices, I would use the regular spices, paprika, curry, mm -hmm. chicken seasoning, seasoned salt. But one of my favorites, or two of my favorites are actually the split pea powder and the lentil pea powder because I love soup. But what I hear about the soup is when people use the split, the actual peas, and they don't let the peas cook all the way till uh. they 
kind of molt away, I molt guess. Away. That's what we say in Barbados. The peas have to molt away. I either get soft and you can break them apart. Right. So when you drink this soup, you are still drinking soup and eating peas. I don't like that. So I would use the split pea powder mm -hmm. and the nettle pea powder where you get the same taste in the soup, but without having to be eating peas. I would never have thought of using the split pea powder yeah. and the lentil pea because I'm thinking like, I thought you were going to say that you use it to make like dumplings and add something to the dumplings. I would never have thought of it like that. Yeah. Okay. So, Casey, <laughs> or should we ask, can you cook? <laughs> <laughs> can you cook? I can. Outside of the normal everyday products, um, we use, we mainly use in my household the whole millet, mm -hmm. the buckwheat, and the buckwheat flour. And we, with the buckwheat flour, we make bakes. Like, my oh. mom makes bakes, and it tastes divine. Oh, so, so your mom is the cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also, instead of using white rice, we, mm -hmm. um, we mix whole millet and the whole buckwheat with brown rice or quinoa. Okay. And have that as a side dish. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're really healthy. Is it, would you say it's an, an acquired taste using buckwheat and... Oh. It can be, mm -hmm. you know, if you're really interested into, sorry, the whole white rice or white pasta, then to change to buckwheat or the whole millet, it's, it's going to be very different. Because okay. the whole buckwheat has a very nutty flavor. Oh, she's getting into descriptions now. She's talking about nutty flavors and all that <laughs> kind of thing. Right. So let's talk about where we can find MIS products across Barbados. And of course, you have big plans to take it regionally and then globally. Yeah. So, you know, I wish you all the best with that because with the range you have, it is more than possible. So tell us where we can find MIS products. Who, who does that? Is that you, Ms. Manager, or is that you? Either one. It, it really doesn't matter because okay. we are everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people sell the products, not just the big supermarkets, like popular and massive, not just the big supermarkets, but there are a lot of the smaller shops and stuff mm -hmm. that sell them as well. Okay. And of course, we have the large containers, but do you have them in smaller packs, that, like for yeah. individual households? Yeah, those are sold in the retail packages in the supermarkets and small shops. The jars, you can call us mm -hmm. at 429-4689, and we will deliver, or you can come and collect yourself. So is it like a minimum amount that you'll deliver? Yes, there's okay. a minimum fee of $50. Okay, yes. so you have to spend $50 and you will And then we will deliver. Okay. And one more thing before we go. Now, you can find them in the stores, but if anybody wants to come directly to you, is that possible? Yeah, Okay. Can. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for joining us on Breakfast in Barbados. Okay, well, thank you for having us. <laughs> when we come back, we go to Chef Nikita and see what she has prepared using MIS products. Breakfast in Barbados. spices have been flavoring the pots of Barbadians for over 25 years. Available island-wide at all Eden supermarkets, MIS spices come in a wide variety of flavors like black pepper, Cajun spice, bacon bits, crushed chili flakes, coriander powder, cumin powder, curry powder, basil leaves, celery salt, and blackened spice. Celebrity chefs and mixologists use MIS spices to enhance the flavor of their creations. MIS products, making it special for you, for you, for you, for you. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados. Now I'm with Chef Nikita, and tell me what you're doing now, because you did tell us what you were going to prepare. So tell well, me what you're doing this now. is the vegetable, the spice vegetable man, like I told you, uh, told you about. I use the MIS curry powder. I also use paprika in here. I use some seasoning salt, mm -hmm. and and there's just onion, garlic, and sweet pepper. Okay, so and this is the rosemary patties. We're just going to wrap them in here to keep them warm. The poached eggs are in there. I want to poach them hard because the majority of people like hard poached eggs. I can agree with you there. Don't yes. the soft eggs. Um, and then we also did a 
sagan barley mix with the pineapple essence. Um, and there's some brown sugar, some hard spice, and some ground, um, ground cinnamon. And that is that. And we just have to all assemble it on a plate. Okay, so this is the meatless select. This is the five bean chili. So this is what's going to go on top of the poached egg. Okay. Uh, and the patty's going to be at the bottom. The vegetables, the poached egg, the sauce. Basil. Sounds really fancy. Yeah. But even though it does sound fancy, apart from the poached egg, because I don't, as I told you, yeah. it never works for me. Yeah. This is something that anybody could prepare at home. Yeah, it's easy. And not only that, because the products are like almost so ready to eat. Mm -hmm. if, if I can say that, you don't have to thank you. Do much um, adjusting to it. So that's easy. Okay. And then we put the beans. So do you heat up the beans or you can just use it straight? Well, since it's, it's tomato based, you don't have to heat it up, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter preference. And we have a plate. So we put the patty on there. And we put some nice onions on here. All love. Yeah, like lots of onions. I know. Onions, sweet peppers, garlic. garlic. And I've discovered, powder. even if you can't cook, and I can't, Onion, Even if you can't cook, you just fake it by putting <laughs> onion, sweet pepper, garlic in a pan. You can't go wrong. No, yeah. it smells fabulous. You can't go wrong. So then you take the eggs. Eggs are like medium to well, but um, we can work with that. Get your hands in there. Your egg is on there. Beautiful. Look at her chefy moves. You can also she's use. Making sure she's um, getting everything. <laughs> you can also use a tomato. Any tomato base, probably a mm -hmm. sauce or anything. Um, it works the same. Let me get that all in there. Mm -hmm. So you've got all the color, plus the it has to be a lot of flavor because you've used your NYS spices. Yeah. And then we take some basil, fresh basil that is. And we also give it some love. This is called love. Oh. But it's not called cooking, this is, this is love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just give it a little shot. Knife skills. And then not going to happen on there. Then I'm going to take some oil just to make the plate look a little sexy. Oh, there. Mm hmm. All righty. Is that nice? You know, normally at home we just take it and slap it on <laughs> yeah, the plate. Yeah, you don't have time for but that. But when you right? see something like that, if you want to impress someone, mm -hmm. you, you have to do this. Yeah. What it is, is a rosemary infused um, mm -hmm. chicken patty. Um, not to get confused with the name, it is 100% vegetarian. Um, mm -hmm. On top of there is some sauteed onions with some paprika from MIS, and there's also some curry, a little bit of black and spice is also on the top of the patty. There's a poached egg, a medium poached egg at the top of it. And we also have from the meat that's fresh to let, they also have some five chili um, beans. That's on top of the poached egg, and then some fresh basil. Sounds really complicated, but not. It's something that <laughs> every one of us can prepare if we yeah. really put our minds to it. And of course, all these wonderful MIS spices. So let's go. See, I get to cut it for you ladies. You want a big piece or a small piece? Small piece. Okay. <laughs> you want to get a piece of every element. All right, so poached egg with the patty. <laughs> okay, let me just eat it. That's good. That is actually okay. <laughs> really good. We move on to this now. This is the Sega and Barley mix. Um, and here is also some pineapple essence, some cinnamon, and some spice. Let's just get it in the bottom there. One more. And one wonders how do you make porridge basically look good? You put it in a nice plate like this, mm -hmm. and then you come over here, and you take some MIS hard spice. Probably two that is about the same length. Right? This is what you call what? Love? Love. You give it some love. Love. Okay. Yeah, we call it love. Let me sprinkle it with a little bit of love. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> and then... So that was accidental, accidental love. love. Oh my goodness. And then some hard spice, which is just presentation purposes. Why, how did you get putting pineapple in? It just doesn't... Because it's pineapple and ginger. So in there is also the um, the ground ginger that they carry. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice 
the essence is very light it's very delicate it's not like a strong pineapple you get it after mm -hmm. but the ginger is always really good okay we'll take your word for it chef okay. so let's sample this you can join me it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Can you taste the ginger? Mm -hmm. I can taste the ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's good. <laughs> that is, yeah. oh my goodness. I did not expect that, because mm -hmm. I'm not a porridge person. Yeah. I but it is, it was this, it was the, like they carry the ground oak, mm -hmm. and the oak and barley, barley and the barley and oak, sorry, and the sega. But with this ground sega, it's probably wise to put in a little bit of, cold water for it. The sago. Yes, because it's almost like a tapioca, well, yeah, the tapioca base. So it kind of, it fits better when I mean, you put it in cold water first. If you put it directly in boiling water, it'll coagulate one time. So okay. you give a little lump. So yeah, just remember that. But other than that, it's easy. No, that was really good. As I said, <laughs> I'm not a porridge person, but I would eat that Beautiful. every morning. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Chef Nikita. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Sasha. And that's it for Breakfast in Barbados for today. Bye-bye.